Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Big Bang's comeback. Their music video is called Still Life. I'll be honest, I don't really know anything about Big Bang. I've heard of them for sure. I, I think any K-pop stand or anyone that had any sort of interest in the Korean entertainment industry would have known about Big Bang. Would have heard about Big Bang, you know? Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. They've been back from the military for a while and then this is kind of like their first comeback. So yeah, my first ever Big Bang song. <laughs> Let's get to it. Whoa, that's a big boat. Oh my god! That's so romantic! They look great! Oh, that tone! Wait! <laughs> nice! Mm. It's a very nostalgic type of music video, huh? Oh, that's a hard name to put in a rap. Hey. Mm. Oh. Okay. The lyrics are kind of deep. <laughs> nice, the harmony. Oh, it's so milky. That's a beautiful tone. I can't get over it. The boy Guitar. Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Comments later. Oh my god. Love the color grading. Ooh, love that jacket. It's a very retro style, high fashion. I'm not used to seeing him with long hair. I definitely have seen him before, of course. Who hasn't? This is very like the concert vibe. in the song Wow Oh my god that is beautiful my, my preconceived idea of this comeback was definitely going was going to be a very rap heavy type of vibe um, and it's obviously not <laughs> but I didn't expect them to be this good singing wise i am so sorry it's it's uh i just because i don't know anything i'm so sorry if uh if that offends you but you know when we hear about certain groups we have this preconceived idea of what they are you know that's why like locals <laughs> who don't know anything about k-pop has a preconceived idea of what k-pop sounds but there's a whole bunch of different genres of music within the genre itself. This is this is a step forward to my education for K-pop, you know, always learning and I love learning about older groups on in my own pace of course, but it, this is a very pleasant 
But this is a very pleasant surprise. I love the tone. Oh my god. So th this kind of like as much as I love heavy hitting songs, you know, like that you like bang your head and like do heavy choreography, like how, what my channel is kind of like known for. But I love these kind of songs. These are the type of songs that I love listening to on B sides. And I've always been like, what would it be like if a K-pop group released a b-side type of song that wasn't you know full a full-pledged performance a full-pledged danced comeback you know dance had a comeback um and this is definitely like I, i'm sure that this has a lot more meaning to vips to the fans um, but okay okay i gotta talk about the the vocal tone because that is just so it's so solid it's just so eargasm and milky and round and just so cool and it's romantic the tone is romantic these are the type of vocal tones that you would that would make someone fall in love <laughs> oh my god like uh yeah <laughs> blushing right now they had a lot of very complicated runs in there and complicated harmonization that uh, will would only kind of be present in a song like this that is a lot more stripped back. The, the runs and the layering is so unexpected. It's almost genius, if not genius itself. Like, I, I'm not a vocal teacher, but um, I'm sure that uh, there's a lot of reactors that have already dissected this. Um, but for me, I can appreciate the creative side of singing and like these the tones, the runs, and, and how complex they are and how... And it's also the marriage of technical ability and the creative and emotional it's a three-way <laughs> abilities those three are so present in this song uh the technical aspect of vocal ability singing you know um the emotional aspect of it you know the interpretation and the messaging and the phrasing phrase and phrasing is not the enunciation of of words phrasing is how how someone f phrases a sentence in a song where you breathe how you go all about it, you know, those kind of things. And then the other aspect is the creative side, how they wrote it and how they executed it and different nuances within the vocal is just so gorgeous. Definitely a playlist for me. And it's number one trending, of course. A lot of you guys are looking at this. This has such a, such a gorgeous song, such a gorgeous tone for all of them. And like that rap, for me, it, it sounded flawless. So yeah, I do wonder though, if this is a pre-release, Normally what people do for their comebacks and stuff is that they do a pre-release which isn't a full-on dance song, you know, the rap heavy types and um, a lot of groups do like kind of more of a simpler type of vibe for the pre-release and then they do a main release which is the you're more dance heavy, explosive, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if, and if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.